There's big news at Richmond tonight. Shea Bolton out for two to three weeks with a broken wrist after an incident uh, after hours on the weekend with Daniel Rioli. Yes. Uh, he was evidently defending Daniel's partner who was challenged by a punter or something in a nightclub. Yep. Yep. Uh, broken on the Nine News tonight, by the way. Uh, the coach, Damien Hardwick, was asked about it tonight and he had this to say. Look, I can understand the, the fixation on our players, but I suppose from, from our point of view, you know, a player's partner was put in an inappropriate and situation that she didn't feel comfortable with and, and Daniel stood up and, you know, tried to eradicate the situation, was punched in the eye and, you know, once again, I don't condone violence, but the reality is, you know, put anyone in that situation, they're going to stand up for their partner and their mates and, you know, Shay was the same. They're great at defending their players and the club said there'll be no sanction towards the players. But here is the list since 2017. There's a number of off-field incidents and there was a couple of really serious ones last year. If this happened at, say, the Adelaide Football Club, this would be a big story right now. Now, there's some questions that weren't put to Damien Hardwick tonight and did the players put themselves in a position that they shouldn't have? If it was, for example, and I don't know this, but if it was three in the morning, the players should not have been there and put themselves at risk of getting in an incident like that. If it was 10 they're o'clock, it's a different they're, they're story. They're allowed to live their life. Absolutely they they're are. They're allowed if to go you, out. If you are a professional athlete... On a, do, yourself, on a night off after they've played ...putting yourself a at risk in they're the middle at, of the at, season... They're at Shay, you get Shay in Bolton's fight. partner's birthday uh, function what? at a nightclub in the city. Yes, what I'm, I'm just saying... Would you they're have allowed, an to, be, issue with allowed it? to be out. If it was three in the morning, you would have no issue with it. I, I think Damien Hardwick has protected his players unbelievably. No wonder they get out every Saturday and, and play for him. Because he, he defends them, no matter what. If this was at another club, would it be a bigger story? Um, it'd be a different story. Why? Uh, Can I ask Lordo the question? He's playing unbelievable footy, and there's a fair sized check coming his way. Mm. Uh, out of contract. Does that affect it? Uh, I suppose you dig deep. You dig deep if you're another club to, to ask the question that Kane's asking because you know, I just think when you're investing a lot of money, you'd, you, you want to invest that money. You can know Bont and Pally and you sort of know those sort of players that okay. they're safe with what they do. So yep. Shea Bolton, I suppose, uh, you just you'd ask the question. If you're one of those clubs saying, we're going to invest... Is not 5% off his... 10% off his wage? If you're yeah. investing seven years... You'd ask the questions around and go, what's Shea Bolton like off-field? What, what, is, is this just a, a bad luck or could it potentially happen to us yeah, again? And the other the one was, we, we don't know how the wrist was broken as well. So that, that's, no, we that's the other thing that hasn't emerged yep. yet. So we'll wait until we get that. Uh, On-field, it's going to hurt them, clearly, because he's been their best midfielder. And without Prestia, without Lambert, without Cochin, there's going to be a big hole there. And teams are now finally, for the first time in a long time, coming after Dustin Martin with a plan. That works. It was Hibbert against Melbourne here, so it's the bigger body defensive defender who is very disciplined. We saw that eight touches against Melbourne, and then Stewart on Friday night. Yeah, he had to, he had some touches, Dustin Martin, but he's kicked three goals in his last six games, and he's not influencing games because teams are finally having a plan for Dusty. Now they play the Giants this week. Nick Haynes is out with a hammy, but he's the perfect matchup if they play in the finals again. The following week, it's Darcy Gardner against Brisbane. That type of player, Tom Jonas, it should have been in the prelim. Cost put Adelaide a spot in the grand final last year. So teams are now got a plan for Dusty that is working and they're executing it very, very well. And Hutch, they've now won't have Shane Edwards, Dion Prestia, Trent Cochin, Kane Lambert and Shea Bolton all out for the next couple of weeks against the Giants and also the Brisbane Lions.